It is my pleasure to be here at the Asia Society. It's a very exciting time for the Asia Society. I feel that when I address the Asia Society, I've arrived. Well, I've spent the last few years of my life really on the front lines of the world's most troubled places. And what I've seen missing at the global level are organizations that can bring people together in common ground. But not only bring people together, forge that common ground, that have enough understanding of the roots and the culture and the, the sensitivities and the beauty of different parts of the world and can help those come together in a transformative way. Asia Society is way ahead of its time. The world that was envisioned when Asia Society was created has come to be one in which it's absolutely vital that the United States understands Asia and Asia understands the United States. Asia Society helped open a new world of Asia and the West coming together in mutual respect. There's very few organizations with the mandate that we have, which is to forge common understanding across the very vital pillars of arts and culture, education, leadership. What advice would you give to high school students who have an interest in China? And policy and business. For the future of the United States has never been more closely linked to the economic, strategic, and political order emerging in the Asia Pacific. When these three can come together in service of moving ideas forward or creating an improved state of the world, it's very powerful. And this would be a huge problem for both China and us. Asia society is at its best when our different areas of expertise come together and where the sum of the parts add up to a bigger whole as one Asia society. We've seen that this fall. We're exploring what could be a very sensitive topic, that of Iran, but we're looking at it from so many different aspects. We're showing its ancient culture. We're demonstrating the attitudes and values of the people of Iran. We're talking about the art and the music and also having a policy dialogue to look at constructive ways we can move this discussion forward. Well, Mr. President, we Thank you very much for those remarks. That's when we see the true promise of Asia society come together. And that's really where we're aiming, to have that big kind of effect in a few areas where our unique mission can really be at service to improving the state of the world. I've spent my time out there, and what is missing are people who know how to sit down with divergent points of view and forge common ground. This is the particular gift of Asia Society, and it's why I'm here. <laughs>